Now in order to solve this differential equation then, what we've got to do is essentially separate the variables. We've got to put the y's on one side and the x's on the other. And to do that, what I'm going to do then is divide both sides by y to the power third. So you've got 1 over y to the power third. You've got dy and I'm going to remove this dx by putting it up on this side. This is if I multiply both sides by the dx. We would then have 9x plus 6 all divided by x and the dx will go here. And then we have to integrate both sides, so put an integral sign down both sides. So what I've done then is I've separated the variables. Now that we've got that, we need to integrate y to the third, so I can therefore say that this is the same as the integral of y to the minus a third with respect to y. And also on this side, let's just leave this as it stands at the moment. 9x for 6 over x with respect to x. Integrating y to the minus third, all we've got to do is just add 1 to the power so that's going to be y to the power 2 thirds. Divide by 2 thirds and you get 3 over 2. Equals. Now for this integral we did it in the first part of the question. and We found that it was essentially 9x plus 6 times the natural log of x plus a constant of integration. Now you're going to have a constant of integration on this side and this side, but if you were to subtract this constant of integration from this one, you're going to get a constant which we'll call c. And I'm going to label this equation number one. Okay, now to work out the constant, we're given that when y is 8, x is 1. So that means that we can substitute these values into this equation number one and should be able to work out what the constant c is. So by doing that, we've got 3 over 2 okay, times y, which is 8, 8 to the power 2 thirds, equals 9 times 1 plus 6 times the natural log of 1 plus the constant c. Now, as for 8 to the 2 thirds, well that's the cube root of 8 which is 2, then you've got a square which is 4, and 1 and a half times 4 is going to give you 6. So we've got 6 on the left hand side equals, and here we've got 9, and you should know that the natural log of 1 is 0, so that term goes, and then you're left with c. So if you subtract 9 from both sides, you end up with c equaling minus 3. And what we've got to do is put that constant back into this equation here, number one. So if we just carry on down here, okay, and we can say sub c equals minus 3 into 1. And if we do that, what we've got is therefore 3 over 2, y to the 2 thirds equals 9x plus 6 natural log of x plus that constant, that constant is minus 3 so it's just minus 3. Now we've got to head towards giving the solution in terms of y squared. So what I'm going to do first of all is I notice that each of these terms is divisible by 3. So if we divide each term by 3 I'm going to get a half y to the 2 thirds equals 3x plus 2 times the natural log of x minus 1. Now if I times through by 2 we get y to the 2 thirds equals 6x plus 4 times the natural log of x minus 2. And what I can do now because this is the cube root of y squared, all I've got to do is essentially cube both sides. So therefore we end up with y squared equals 6x 
plus 4 times the natural log of x minus 2 and all of that is cubed. And there you have y squared.